This is sideline hip internal rotation done for the internal rotators of the hip. There's two main positions that we do this in. One is where the hip is up around 90 degrees of flexion. And Anna's gonna lift her foot as high as it can possibly go. We do this like the quad set where you're contracting at max intensity. Then you come down, take a little rest, get some blood back into it, and then back up. So you're maxing out that range, okay? Take a little break, and then come back up. When In the beginning, when you're still having difficulty recruiting this, you wanna make sure you're taking a break in between each repetition. Once you can acquire the height and get through your range of motion at the fullest, then we can start the strengthening aspect of it, which will involve you going through it with no break until fatigue. Okay, so you can see Anna put her knee up on a pillow or a cushion. This will keep the hip relatively neutral. And the other position that we train our athletes in, especially since they're gonna be running and stabilizing in a more neutral position of the hip, is back. So she's actually gonna put this leg forward, right? And then we'll put the cushion more straight and then Anna's gonna have her thigh more lined up with her spine, and she'll come up from that neutral position. Okay. And as you get better at this and you can complete your three sets of 45 seconds without significant fatigue, you're gonna start adding ankle weights to it. And that is hip internal rotation, two ways.